Hello everyone. Today, I'm going to show you a video on how to connect the external power supply for the KHF series column meter using the three wire method. Before connecting the wires, please check the setting on the back of the measuring module to ensure the switch is set to the 3W position for external power supply. Open the cover of the sampler and you will see the bat and load markings on the PCB board. Now, let's demonstrate the wiring process. Use a wrench to loosen the screw on the bat end. Then connect the negative wire from the battery to the screw on the bat end of the sampler. Next, use a wire that can handle the maximum working current of the battery to connect the screw on the load end of the sampler to the negative pole of the battery. thus connecting the sampler to the entire negative circuit. Close the sampler cover. Use a 4P cable to connect the sampler to the current sensor interface on the measuring module. Observe the power supply interface in the upper left corner of the measuring module. From top to bottom, it includes VSNS, VEXT, and GND. Connect a 16 AWG to 13 AWG wire to the VSNS interface corresponding to the green 3P terminal block. Connect the positive pole of the external power supply to the VEXT interface and the negative pole of the external power supply to the GND interface. Connect the other end of the wire connected to the VSNS interface to the positive pole of the battery. Connect the external power supply to the device. And the green indicator light on the measuring module will start to flash. Indicating that the instrument has started to work. The display module is connected to the RS485 display interface on that measuring module via a 4P communication cable. The actual standard length of the cable is 5 meters. With this, the three-wire external power supply connection for the KHF series column meter is completed. The external power supply provides power to the measuring module through the VEXT and GND power supply terminals. The VSNS interface on the measuring module measures the voltage of the tested battery. And the charging and discharging current of the battery passes through the sampler. Finally, let's take a look at the status of the KHF series column meter during charging and discharging. When the battery is being charged, the color of the current is green. The remaining capacity and percentage of the battery capacity increase. And the estimated time indicates how long it will take to fully charge the battery. When the battery is discharging, the color of the current is blue. The remaining capacity and percentage of the battery capacity decrease. And the estimated time indicates how long it will take to discharge the battery completely. Thank you for watching.